Hello, welcome to Geotechnical Engineering Part 1 Particle Size Analysis Today we will be discussing about Size and Nomenclature of Soil Particle Coarse Grain and Fine Grain Soil Sieve Analysis and Sedimentation Analysis So natural soil we all know is a mixture of various size of particle To determine the particle size a square hole sieve is being used and which is expressed in single diameter size and nomenclature according to the bureau of indian standard is 1498-1970 very coarse coarser and fine soils are being described boulder size greater than 300 mm cobalt size 80 to 300 mm gravel 20 to 80 mm coarser and 4.75 to 20 mm finer in sand 2 to 4.75 mm coarser 0 0.425 to 2 mm medium and 0 0.075 to 0 0.425 mm finer and now finer soil we have silt and clay silt of size 0 0.002 to 0 0.075 mm and clay less than 0 0.002 mm so here gravel is denoted, denoted by G sand is denoted by S silt is denoted by M and clay is denoted by C now what is the difference between coarse grain and fine grain soil Coarse grain, which is frequently and identified based on the particle size, and fine grain based on plasticity. Individual particles are visible in coarse grain, and in fine grain may not be visible by naked eyes. Coarse grain is divided into two categories that is, gravel and sand. In fine grain, we have two categories that is, silt and clay. Shape of gravel vary from round to angular and silt tend to be spherical shape and clay may be flanky shape. So here particle size will be larger than 4.75 mm termed as gravel and 4.75 mm to 75 micron is sand. Here in fine grain soil, particle size may be 75 micron to 2 micron, which is said to be the silt, and less than 2 micron, we say it as a clay. So, coarser grain soil have 50% or less material passing through 200 sieve. Finer particles of soil having 50% of more material passing through 200 sieve. Here using mechanical analysis we can determine the size of various particles which may be coarser or finer. Sieve analysis is a dry analysis process where particle size greater than 75 micron is being analyzed which may be into the form of two type coarser sieve analysis and finer sieve analysis of 75 4.75 mm and greater which is identified by coarse sieve and less than 4.75 mm identified by the fine sieves here you can see the sum of set of coarse sieve and fine sieve similarly sedimentation analysis is a wet analysis process for less than 75 micron particle size which may be identified by the hydrometer and pipite method so here you can see the sieve analysis 
to determine the particle size of soil here finer sieve is at the bottom and likewise coarser sieve is at the top procedure to find out the particle size using the sieve analysis first of all weight a dry soil sample taking at least 500 gram record the weight of sieve and pan that will be utilized during the analysis clean up all the sieves before the test assemble the sieve in ascending order larger sieve will be at the top place the soils sample into the top sieve place the lid or a cap and place this whole set of sieve on a mechanical shaker for 10 minutes remove the sieve shaker and measure each retained particle on the sieve and pan placed at the bottom here is the observation table where we will be recording all the retained soil percentage retained cumulative retained and finer mass so by filling the observation table we will be getting the percentage of particle size now for particle size less than 75 micron we need to have a sedimentation analysis which is a wet and the sedimentation analysis can be done either by hydrometer and or pipite so here in order to analyze the sedimentation analysis some of the assumptions are particle size may be perfect sphere liquid throughout the particle fall must be of indefinite extent the particle reaches constant terminal velocity with a few seconds and it maintain indefinitely so sedimentation analysis based on stocks law which is velocity of a particle undergoing settlement within the indefinite or infinite medium which is depend upon size shape and mass of particle which is said to be the terminal velocity here vs is equal to g minus 1 small g d square by 18 mu capital G is the specific gravity small g is the gravity d square diameter of the particle mu is the viscosity of a fluid so based on the assumption there are some of the limitations here particle size are said to be the spherical but finer particles may be funky or needle shape specific gravity of solids for different particle is different we use average value so this is also one of the limitation shock law is applicable when the fall of particle is in the liquid which has infinity extent that is no boundary is present but our suspension in the jar and its wall affect the results to some extent as falling particle may collide with the wall so this is also one of the limitations we have also assumed that there is no interference on the moment of particle by other surrounding particles which is also a limitation for us sedimentation analysis cannot be used for particle size 
larger than 0.2 mm because they may cause to generate turbulent condition so this is also a limitation sedimentation analysis is also not applicable for particle size smaller than 0.2 micron so these all are some of the limitations based on the stocks law thank you for listening thank you